Happy Monday. So today it is my turn to share what I eat in a day since Aaron has been eating more and more raw. I tend to crave things like tofu wraps and burritos and pasta and noodles and waffles and things like that and the kids certainly do too. So Aaron's like, well why don't you shoot a more cooked, maybe a high protein style of what I eat in a day. So I'm like, cool, let's do it. So for breakfast, number one, obviously we start every day without fail with one of two things, either a green juice or a green smoothie. We actually did juices yesterday, so today we're starting with a green smoothie. This is the same recipe Aaron's been making for years, and I highly, highly recommend if you're even thinking about starting this health and wellness journey, start here. Before going vegan, before trying to go cold turkey, all the things, if you're trying to help someone else in your life, like a partner or a spouse, get them on a green smoothie first before they cut everything else up. This is like a gateway drug to healthy plant-based eating. It is so delicious and so good for you. It has nearly everything you need vitamin and nutrient wise. And speaking of getting what you need, this video is also in collaboration with Compliment. You guys know that we've been using Compliment for years and loving it. They make the best multivitamins that seriously make getting what you need on a vegan diet super, super easy. Even if you're not plant-based, these are a great option for, again, getting things like B12, EPA, and DHA, vitamin D and K2, and doing it in a super simple way. I usually just pop some of these in right before dinner. And because we didn't juice this morning, we usually do a green juice and a ginger shot. I've actually been loving compliments. Gut nurture. So this is basically a ginger shot in a powder form. So I just put this in water, blend it up and shoot it down. We also put their daily greens in our green smoothies like we did this morning and are loving that too. Honestly, Compliment has so many great products. You guys are just gonna have to go and check them out for yourselves. As always, use our discount code to save. We'll have that linked below. Now, breakfast time. We love oats in this family. The kids need more cooked food. They need things like iron and protein and they need it in the form of like oatmeal and waffles and pancakes because they're kids like that's what they want of course so yes i have fallen victim to eating more waffles and oats myself but i ain't mad about it i love my waffle recipe let's get into that recipe now so waffles i used to do in our like nutribullet but now because we're such a big family and we eat so much i blend it in the vitamix so this makes quite a bit i recommend if you're single or making this for one or maybe just two cutting the recipe in half but i'm gonna share with you what we do because even if you make too much these are great leftover we take them in the car with us we take them to the beach and they're so so good for this recipe i use two cups of oats two cups of buckwheat two tablespoons of chia one tablespoon of flax one tablespoon of hemp as you can see we're getting all these healthy seeds in there to get as much of those healthy omegas epa and dha in there as possible all those healthy fats as well as tons of healthy protein iron etc on top of that i do add a couple scoops of protein powder and one tablespoon of baking powder just to help them not be so sticky in the waffle maker now our waffle maker is a ceramic waffle maker we are very torn on like the non-stick surfaces when it comes to cooking, but like at the end of the day, you just have to do your best and kind of forget the rest. So I blend all those dry ingredients up and then I pour them into a large mixing bowl. And then I grab my wet ingredients, which are very simple. We use three cups of soy milk, about a half cup of maple syrup, and two to three ripe bananas. Now these bananas give it sweetness, flavor, and stickiness that helps them hold together. So I blend the liquid, I pour it over the dry ingredients, mixing it to the right consistency. I like this batter really thick and more dry than wet. So I'm gonna put these in the waffle maker, but I'm actually gonna dish some of the batter for the kids because the kids love the batter. Again, the kids love this recipe. It is packed full of protein, healthy carbs, healthy fats. It's an all around super nourishing breakfast treat and or like I said, something to take with us on the go. Yes, that waffle, that one waffle I had 
was like probably 750 calories after I put the cashew butter on it. But number one, when you're eating a plant-based diet, you are able to eat more. I, trust me, not every calorie is created equally. These are whole foods. They're so nutritious. I pretty much eat as much as I want whenever I want. And I would say I probably get between 2,500 and 3,000 calories a day. I can honestly say that I get more protein on a plant-based diet than when I was eating meat. And it's because I'm eating so many more beans, grains, legumes, yes, things like tofu, and they're in like almost every single meal. Whereas before, I would just eat like a piece of meat with some broccoli and it's like, I'm actually getting more protein now. So I'm about to go for a bike ride and then maybe do like 20 minutes of lifting after, but I'm gonna make a quick lunch beforehand and I'm going to make, as per Max's request, burritos. I'm first gonna chop some red pepper, some onion, some garlic and saute those in a pan. Then I'm gonna throw my tofu in. I just like to break it up with my hands, drop it in with some salt and pepper. Then I put a little dash of turmeric in for color. I use these burrito size tortillas from Whole Foods that again, we absolutely love. And I smear on our favorite hummus. Then I simply wrap it all up, throw it on a hot pan to give it that crunchy burrito fold. And I serve it up for the kids and myself. Super nourishing, super filling, and again, packed with tons of protein. So Aaron and I almost always have some type of bean soaking on the counter that we cook in the Instant Pot because cooking from dried is definitely the best way. And chickpeas were in the fridge today from yesterday. Listen to a podcast with Dr. Longao. He's this Italian physician that is all about studying and figuring out how to live the longest. And he says that chickpeas are like the best plant protein. So I'm gonna throw some chickpeas in my burrito too. And because I know I'm gonna get the question, what am I using to saute? No oil, seriously, not any oil, just a little bit of water. And then the burrito, I literally put the tortilla on a hot pan. It helps if the pan is already hot. And I just kind of spin it around so it doesn't stick. Oil free, and yeah. You know what else might actually be good in these that I often do is avocado. But if you don't watch it, this could go very quickly from a high protein video to a high fat video. So I'm gonna leave the avocado out today. And the nice thing too, is that this always makes a decent amount so you can put it in the fridge for tomorrow to eat in another burrito or just to eat with a spoon. Aaron, I know is gonna sneak some of this for sure. guys it is a hot one so I had a good ride about a 40 minute ride and now I'm gonna lift for 15 or 20 just because I feel like if I ride too much I'm gonna get too lean and I like to keep some muscle on me and to be honest you guys I am not very religious with lifting I haven't eaten meat in like seven eight years and I am legit the strongest I've ever been in my life. So you guys decide for yourselves, but I'm telling you, I feel good on this plant-based diet, getting plenty of protein for muscle gain, and I don't even lift that much, like seriously. Sleeping great lately too, which is key. We don't talk about sleep enough, but seriously, you can't run all day long and not recharge the battery, you guys. Trust me, I know from experience, I have been bent out of shape because of lack of good sleep. If I'm not feeling tip top, I skip the workouts, I rest my body because seriously rest is more important. So anyway, hormones, everything is like feeling really good lately. And again, feeling super, super strong.
right, you guys, it is dinner time and we are making our new favorite recipe. We actually just made it this weekend, but it's so good I had to make it for you guys. So this is hidden veggie pasta. So the kids all of a sudden are like, I don't wanna eat my veggies. And Aaron sent me this post from someone else that was making this veggie broth and blending it up putting it into a pasta and the kids don't even know. So I kind of tweaked it a little bit and made my own version of that. So this is a seriously veggie loaded pasta. We're gonna use some chickpea and brown rice noodles to make it protein packed and delicious. On top of the pasta, we're gonna sprinkle in some green lentils for more protein and iron. This is so, so good. So for this recipe, I'm gonna throw about four carrots, four stalks of celery, a yellow onion, about four or five garlic cloves all into a stock pot and boil it down. I'm also gonna add a little bit of turmeric, some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper. I'm also gonna throw in a handful of these little golden potatoes. These are gonna add some more vitamins, definitely add some minerals and some more healthy carbs. So I don't wanna add too much water. I want just enough to cover these veggies so when they boil down, I can blend them and they will be nice and thick. I'm also gonna add in a can of organic tomatoes. I'm also gonna use about a half jar of tomato paste. I like to start with less. You can always add a little bit more if you need a little bit more tomato taste. When everything is cooked, I'm gonna throw it in the Vitamix and blend it up. You don't wanna blend too many green things like you wouldn't wanna blend your broccoli up or peas or kale or spinach because they're gonna make your sauce not super pretty. I don't wanna turn the sauce brownish green or the kids probably aren't gonna to wanna to eat that either. I'm gonna add it back to the stock pot with my tomato paste and I'm gonna chop a few other veggies. Things that go good are like zucchini, maybe some broccoli, maybe some mushrooms. Again, if the kids aren't gonna eat these, I recommend putting these in first. And also add like some tomato puree if you want it more saucy, if you want it more red. Separately, I'm gonna be boiling our noodles down and a cup or two of green lentils. We kinda like to mix it all up and make it just a one big family sized pot, bring it over to the table and enjoy. And as always, you can add more salt and pepper, Italian seasoning and or tomato paste for flavor. If you are breadies, we do also like to make some sourdough bread and throw that on the side. You guys, this has been such a treat. We love Italian food and we know we're getting everything we need on this plant-based diet. If you guys enjoyed this video, my what I eat in a day, high protein, a little bit more cooked versions of our meals, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. If you want even more epic recipes, definitely download our meal planner and recipe app. You can find it for both Apple and Android. We'll have that link below. Stay tuned for more epic recipes and good content next Saturday. Peace. See? We're not doing healthy. Yeah. Super. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.